let us see how we can make use of the health together with the work manager and as you can see health can work together with the uh, health has a lot of extension that can work together with the view model navigation compose as well as the work manager so today we are going to see how we can make use of a hill to work with our work manager to provide the dependency for our work manager so first of all we'll go back to our project over here and we need to add some dependency over here so let us go down and let me go back over here and we'll go to the work manager dependency you can just go and search for this uh, this go to this particular website and or just search for the android uh, work manager dependency so current version is 2.6.0 and uh, we will make use of it so just copy of uh, this one and just go back to your project and over here we'll just add that particular dependency okay so just adding all of those dependencies and i think we don't need it for java currently we are just using it for the kotlin and if you want to remove rx java support and other stuff you can just go and remove it so uh, i'll just keep it for now and uh, then also we need some more dependency for this one and let me go over here and uh, let me take the dependency for our uh, we need to get the dependency for the work manager to work with the heat and for that we need this particular dependency so i'm just using a kotlin and if you are using a java you can just copy this one but since i'm just using a kotlin i'll just make use of a kotlin compiler over there and uh, then just uh, paste it over somewhere here together with the okay so that should be fine and just synchronize for this project and then it will uh, take a bit of time to download and configure the gradle plugin and uh, let us go back over here and then we need to create a worker class and have annotation with the hilt uh, at hilt worker so inject a worker using a at hilt worker and annotate the class with the at assisted inject and into the worker object so in here we need to make use of for assisted inject for the previously we are just using an inject but we need to make use of the assisted inject which which comes from the dagger and then it says that you can only make use of a single turn or the on scope binding to work with the work manager so we can just make use of a single turn if you are using this particular hilt work manager you must also annoy the context and the work parameters these are the two parameters that we need to pass to our work worker and then the dependency is we need to annotate with the add assistant so these are the things that we need to take note and if you are not familiar with the, about the work manager i have a course in the udemy where i have explained a more detail about the work manager and we have uh, created a lot of project over there you can just go and check out my udemy course on the work manager and let's let's go back to our work project over here and yeah dependency is added over here and i will just close this one for now and uh, then i will just add uh, one more package over here and we'll call it as a uh, worker and for now i'll just add a new class over here and call it as a just give it as a some something like a demo worker or give it any name and as it has mentioned there we need to annotate it with the alt at uh, we have a sorry hilt worker right so we need to annotate it with the hilt worker and second thing is that we need to make use of a add assisted inject over here in which comes from the dagger dagger that assisted not we are not using of the add inject over here so we have to make use of add assisted inject not the assisted or assisted inject over there and then uh, we need to get the constructor for this one and in the constructor we have to make use of a add assisted over here and then we need to pass the 
context over here which comes from the CONTF context and then we also need another assisted over here and here we need a walk uh, PAR walk parameters so these are the things that we need to pass over here currently and then it should extend a walker for now if we are we are just work, uh, working with the walker class if we are using a coating you can use a coating walker or if we are using rx java you can then use a rx walker so uh, for that uh, if you want to learn more about the walker uh, and the walk manager just make sure you go out and check out my uh, udemy course on that one and here we need to pass the context and also the walk parameters and now we should extend the our do walk over here okay that should be fine now this is uh, already set up over here and i'll just make use of our com companion object over here and create a constant val of the let's say a tag i need a tag over here and then just keep the tag name of this one and then finally we'll just uh, return from here a result uh, that success and we don't want pass of anything for now and uh, here we'll just uh, log the d and i'll just pass the tag and here i'll just say a uh, walker mm, start okay so that is the thing that we have to do and now if you want to pass the extra constructor parameter over here let's say you want to pass uh, your repository over here or any other dependency that you want to make use with your do work so currently we are not passing any external dependency just the default dependency for the context and the work parameters so let us create a one uh, extra class for our work or dependency and then i'll just create a okay so i created a new class of our demo worker dependencies and this doesn't take any dependence i'll just create a one a variable over here of uh, just say a counter and just give a value of a 10 for now or 10 for now should be counter okay so i have just this one class and i need to provide this one as a dependency so uh let me provide a dependency for that one so private val and i need a demo worker dependency here so i need this one as a dependency over here so now we need to provide this dependency for that we'll just go to the module and in the application module we'll create a add singleton and add provide over here and then we we'll create a function to provide our demo worker and uh, here we don't have any dependency on the constructor we just have to return a demo worker dependencies from here and then return our demo worker dependency we don't have any constructor dependency okay then we don't have to pass it over here and that should be able to create our uh, worker dependency and uh, then yeah i think that should be fine and now when we go over here when we go to do work we just want to do a for loop over here and uh, then for i in the zero to let's say uh we have a dependency worker dot the counter and then we'll just print out that one so log the the to log the d and we will just print out that whatever we are getting as a r that should be fine now and the next thing that we have to do is we need to go to our application class and in our application class we need to extend the, the one more over here configuration which comes from the android x work so make sure you take it from the android x dot work and then we need to extend this particular interface of provider 
Okay, so we got that one, and now I need to override the get worker configuration over here, and also I need uh, another injection dependency injection of inj is it inject sorry in inject the dependency over here and provide the let init variable of a worker factory. And this comes from the Walker factory from the Android X that work. Make sure you extend it from here. Okay, we got the Walker factory over here. And then from here, we just have to return our configuration dot. I need to make use of a builder and then set the, set the Walker factory to this particular injected Walker factory over here. And then finally dot build it. So if you go back to the documentation, what it has mentioned over here is that we need to create this uh, worker and anoint it with the add hill worker over here, and you make use of the add assisted inject over here. And then also for this uh, the default constructor parameter for our uh, worker, we need to make use of our assisted over here, annotation of add assisted. And then we need to then you have to make use of application class to implement the configuration that provider interface and inject a instance of our Hilt Walker factory over there. So if you go back over here, we sorry, it's another Hilt. It is not the Walker factory. It should be of a Hilt Walker factory, right? Okay. So I just have to remove some of the dependency that we don't use it over here. Okay, so we just made a mistake. It was a uh, field worker factory instead of the worker factory. Okay, so we got that one and configuration and in instance for field worker factory and pass it into the work manager. So here we have already done it. And also it has mentioned that because uh, this is the customized the work manager, so this is customization of the work manager configuration. And also, you must move the default initializer from the so in the Android message file, we need to do something. So, if you go to the documentation of the work manager and go to the version 2.6 over here, and over the 2.6, there is uh, some important change that we have to uh, migrate. So, in the Android X that worker, we have a version 2.6.0 that we are currently using. So, if you go back to our uh, dependency and you can see that we are on 2.6.0 so there is a different change a little bit of change that we have to add so we just have to copy this one first of all i'll just copy this one and uh, then i'll just go back to my project and i need to go to the manifest over here and i will add at the end of this particular Okay, so before the end of the application, I'll just add the provide and I need to import these tools out and enter. Okay, so that should be fine. And now since we have this worker and our application class ready, and also we have our module where we are providing that particular worker dependency. And that worker dependency is not a big class, just a small class, just uh, with the value of a counter. And that counter we are making use in our demo worker class to create a loop. So let's go back to our fragment for now. And we have a main fragment. And uh, here in the main fragment, uh, let me just go and create a one function. Uh, let's go over here and create a private function. And uh, let's say a demo work or something. And inside here, we will just create a val. And I just say, are, are you curious to request which is of equals to? I'll just make use of one time walk request over here. Uh, you can make use of a periodic on any other of the things that you want to make use. And this requires of the demo walker, right? And uh, then I think that should be fine. And then we should be able to use of the walk manager dot we have to get the instance and i need to get it from the required context dot the application context and then dot i can enqueue this one and provide the request over here 
and here it says that we I think it says some error so we have one okay so I need to build this one sorry I haven't built that one okay so we got that one and if you are not familiar with the uh, work manager I want to show you again I have a, a Udemy course where you can just go and find out the, I have provided the link on the description and uh, you should be able to go and get that course and uh, just check it out if you want to learn more about the work manager and then uh, we will go on to the somewhere over here on view created I think and here I'll just fire that work over here so do work I'll just cons into work I'll just call that function as not to do work it should have a demo work okay so i'll just call that function over here let me try to run our application okay so it's uh, launch and we'll go to the log cat and we'll try to filter it out by our word the word yeah and you can see that the do worker you can see that worker started and then we got this particular value and that value is coming from our demo work and why i'm getting i okay so it should be offer Dollar mm, sign and I, and that should be able to print out our record. So, which means basically that it is uh, perfectly working and it is able to inject our uh, dependency over here, the demo worker dependency. And now you can see that it has been able to print out our number over here, which is getting the value, the counter value from here, and we are making use it over here. So, which means that dependency is working fine. And also, if you want to, uh, this is a, just a demo, and you are just adding a, just a demo dependency. By uh, in the actual real world application, you should be able to inject like a repository over here or any other class, a real world class that you want to inject. So, if you want to inject the another class, I can just inject it. Sorry, with the progression. Uh, PRI, VAT private, I need. So, I need a private valve of the let's say uh, our user repository implementation over here and then i can also just go and get the valve and i have a users and i can okay so i think this user is making use of the okay list of a string so i can get a list of a string over here so I can just make use of the user repository implementation dot get the user list and then I can make use of a user list dot the for each and log dot the and I'll just print it out over here and it should be sorry the ag tag over here and then we'll just go and print out the uh, dollar sign of the sorry it should be of a it okay and i think i can just remove this string template yeah i think that should be fine and if i go and run it so let us go to our log cat then let me clear it out this one and then you can see that uh, we have our list of user printed over here so which means that our both of the constructor dependency over here we have a dependency of the demo worker as well as the user repository over here and both of them are able to inject and we are able to work with our class that we have provided to our worker over here so demo worker so i hope you learned something over here and uh, enjoyed it and if you want to support me just check out my courses on the udemy so let's meet up on the next one till then have a great day